Greetings, I'm Berent, and welcome to Meet Me at the Table. We're continuing our playthrough of the Seventh Continent. We found the voracious goddess, we prayed to her, we were hoping to finish, and it didn't happen. And I think the voracious goddess wants us to go find a jewel. She gave us some strange words that I had you guys read, and hopefully you thought of the same things I did, and we're going to go attempt to find this jewel. Now, there's a couple things I want to go over before we start this epic quest. One is, uh, one of the members of the community taught me something that was straight from the rule book that I totally missed. This card right here, the hunt action that we've been doing. Well, the one before it, the 289 card that's green, says to put the gold card in play when done. So... When you replace a green card with a gold card, you're supposed to banish the green card that is replaced by the gold card. So it should have gone in our banished pile. Instead, I put it back in our, into the past, which then I shuffled back into the box. So we got a free hunt out of it because we've hunted once an episode before and then hunted twice in the last episode, I believe. So we got kind of a free hunt. Also, there's a couple other hunting places back in the jungle and the fishing place that also should have been banished that I didn't banish. So here's the other 289 card. I'm gonna banish that as well. If we manage to go all the way back to the jungle and we find that hunting spot again, I'll banish those cards. And if we find anything else that we're playing that should have been banished, I'm gonna do that as well. Now let's quick go over what I have. Maybe some of this might help. Currently we are poisoned, bloody, and tired. We have a dog that somebody noticed why he's German? Check it out. He's got a little German dog tag. How about that? And that would mean that would make sense as to why he spoke German. So we got a dog. He helps with hunting. I've got this not so sound, not a sound. It's a side quest. I haven't really been looking for this because I know I don't have any way to deal with it. And we have that intuitive card where if we do one of these actions, we can take some action cards back into our deck or something. What does it say? During the result steps, before totaling successes, I may choose up to two cards that I drew and shuffle them back in the action deck. So if it's something that doesn't help, we can then shuffle it back so we can use cards later. We have those. We're only allowed four of these, so I can only hold one more. Mary Kingsley's, well, stock to the rim here. She has her forewarned is forearmed. Valiant Heart shall not fail. Another forewarned is forearmed. The only card that is different is our aggressive card. I should have played this if you had, I missed this. I should have played it when I used uh, the deadfall trap in the last video. And that's okay. We're going to probably use it pretty soon anyway. We have a shovel and this sharp stone. And I have a total of four durability on those right now. Our awesome tribal flute has one durability left. Good at music and thinking and co coaxing or was it taming? And our last item is our rudimentary flint that also has our bolas and our deadfall trap together. Combined, they have three left. And the final thing is our satchel. And somebody asked if there's anything in here that might help me find those jewels, or the jewel, I mean. And, well, no, I've got red seaweed, unless it's this card. If this card might help me, that'd be great. But all I see is death and destruction and somebody carrying around, I don't know, an exalted stone or something. Um, and then, of course, our knowledge of the rockworms and that clue about the voracious goddess. But I think this clue really just got us there. Now it's a matter of finding the jewel that she ha that we need to find that in the voracious goddess is going to hopefully take us there. With that being said, Mary Kingsley is on an epic quest. And her quest was thought was over. It's not. We got to go find the jewel and hopefully come back here and things will all go great. Will she do it or will the curse finally overtake her? To find out, I need you to meet me at the table. We left last time with me having this up here for you guys to read. 
And this top part's kind of just a little flavor text, but the bottom part, the blurry image shows a group of people wearing loincloths, walking in single file towards the rising sun. So that would be east, as far as I know. And that's north, south, east would be that way, and west would be that way, unless this continent is turned or something. But I can't really bank on that. I gotta go with what I think is north, south, east, or west. Unless there's something on that clue card that might tell me which way is north. But I don't really see anything that tells me that. So we'll continue. And it seems like 10 days and then disappearing underground. Well, I have no idea what that means. But meanwhile, another group processes in the same direction for two days, then shifts and go north for some time. Don't know exactly what how much some time is. Then heading back to the east for four additional days. Now, and so an intense snowstorm then clouds their vision. Oddly, both groups seem to reach their destination at the same time. So, whoops, I'm throwing it all over the place. The way I, I think we're going to try to help this, the second one first, because I'm not exactly sure about this 10 days and underground type thing. Um, so that's the deal. Somebody did offer up an idea where to figure out the days, you could count up the number of cards needed to draw to move off of these cards might symbolize the amount of days traveled. And if that's the case, to go east, I can go east, let's see if I can find it again, two days, then shift and go north for some time before heading back to the east for four additional days. So there's a chance, I'm gonna move this camera, there we go, that two days, I don't think I should count this, it does take two to move off this to the east, which would be over here. We have been here before, oh, knock the camera around. And then they said for who knows how long, which means it could go through that canyon that's way up here. And maybe after we get through this canyon, we go east a little bit and we'll find that jewel. So that's one option. And I think that's the option we're gonna go with. I'm gonna tempt that. That's gonna be our plan. I hope it's a good plan. We'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna put this, well, I'm supposed to put this in the past. So we're gonna put it in the past, but I can gather it back from the past if I need to. Our first order of business though is we've got one, two, three, four, five, six action cards left. So I could move off this for one and then go over here and just see what's here. And that could be the first thing we do. And I think that is. I'm planning actually to have to go up here and I think we might have to do a hard hunt and see what happens. Uh, that just might be what we have to do. So we're gonna take one card to move over there. We got leadership. We're gonna keep this card because I've got an extra thing. It says each involved character returns their tired or frightened states. Each involved character then thereby returned at least one state, may put one card from their hand on top of the action deck. Discard this. This is really good, because I am tired right now. The problem is, I have to get two stars doing one of these coax actions or tame actions. I do have my tribal flute, but I only got one one more use out of it, and I don't know. We're gonna hold on to this. We're just gonna see what's over here. I can hold five cards, so we're gonna put that there. I'm gonna see what's here. Hopefully something good. Repentance, what's this? You can hear several nesting, chirping. Let me try that dance again. You can hear several nestlings chirping from a rocky overhang above your head. They would obviously be very, they would obviously be very happy to eat the caterpillars that crawl at your feet. I can climb up to the nest. You rescue the nestlings and I get a three card and discard this. Kill the nestlings and I get a food card, discard this. Who cares, you would rather save your energy and continue on your way. Zero three and banish this. Hmm. Well, you know me, I'm always gonna do the right thing here. I don't know if it's the right thing. Climbing up to their nest, you rescue the nestlings. Huh. Hear several nestlings chirping from a rocky overhang above your head. They would obviously be very happy to eat the caterpillars that crawl at my feet. 
I could kill the nestlings. Hmm. Well, either way, we're going to draw two and hopefully get two successes. Or I can leave this here. It's not an immediate need to do it action. And I think we are just going to leave that there for the time being. We're going to move back up here because I want to do this hunt. I think we really need to do that. Oh, or maybe I should deal with this right now. I bang the camera again. Maybe I should deal with this right now because then the tile becomes present and I can move to it. I'm wasting a lot of movement just moving little bits where I can do big movements and save some energy. Well, we're going to go back up. I, want to, I need to hunt before I run out of cards here. I only got three left. So I got, I'm going to take two cards to move off this tile. I don't have anything that helps me with movement. So two to move off the tile. I've got this one that helps me with fishing. That's going to the discard pile. <gasps> and my walking stick back. Yes. Oh, I love this walking stick. We are totally taking this walking stick. And I am totally going to get rid of this leadership card to do it. That was good. So we're back on. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't need to take two. I'm moving back to my fire. I could have only taken one. Oh, well, that's how it goes when you play games with me. Okay. I've got three action cards left, and I have to do a hunt action. I have to take one. It's a locked value. So we got our deadfall trap. It's going to cost us one to use it, so it's going to go from three down to two. And I get one success for that. On top of that, I also have this card. It's a sharp stone, which helps with hunt. I get one for this, but I didn't have to discard this. So we're going to discard this. And well, we're going to discard it, but we'll put it here. So we have two right now. So we've already gotten two, which is good. Now we're going to take our magic card and hope it's a good one. Oh, it's a torch. Boo. So we're at two. So I get one, but I do have a trick, secret trick. Got my dog. This dog, during the result step of my hunt, I can choose up to two cards revealed and shuffle them back into my action deck without adding successes to the total. And if I do, I must draw that number of cards again. So we're going to put this back into the deck and shuffle it up a little bit. Hopefully don't draw it again, because that would be absolutely terrible. And we're going to draw... Oh, I... oh, no, it's a club. Oh, I thought it was the torch again. I was like, no, oh, the torch... No, actually, yay, the club. The club is fantastic. Okay, so we got three. One, well, it's here. So we got one for this. And I have to discard it. Not in banish it, sorry, discard. Two for the club, which is going to go in our hand. Oh, no, I got to get rid of something. I got to, no, I, oh, boo. And then the deadfall trap is the other one. So we got to put the deadfall trap back. And the club, I want to keep this club. And I bet I'm going to have room for it in about 10 seconds here. But I've got all these cards. Aggressive. Let's read it. It says, if the action you were involved in is a success and you used a card with the keyword aggressiveness from your inventory for it, you may discard this during the consequence step to apply the following. So the consequence, oh boy, I'd have to figure out the order of how this all works. Randomly take four cards from the discard pile, shuffle them back in your action deck. I think I can do that now. I'm going to have to check to see when, when exactly the, what is the actual true order of these steps to see if I can do this before I draw the 250 cards or after I draw the 250 cards. Okay, from what I gathered, there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is, is the consequence step seems to be right after the discard step. So sadly, I do either have to discard this or I have to find a way to keep it with uh, and having to discard some one two three four five i don't want to discard this this helps us move and all the rest of these are so good and I'm about to use a i think we're going to discard this for now i really want that club but i've got a plan and it involves this walking stick and all these cards so that being said this does say um discard this during the consequence step so the consequence step is going to be when i'm drawing when i resolve this card which means I'm going to be drawing these. So I think I'm doing this right. If I'm wrong, I apologize. It's I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% on this, but I think this is how it's going to work. So I've got three successes. I'm going to grab two of these, but this is during the consequence step. So I choose to use this card as well, which means that I can discard 
four ran or randomly take four cards from the discard pile and shuffle them back into my action deck. So I'm going to take four cards from my discard pile and shuffle them back to my action deck and then continue on to the consequence step. Again, like I said, if I'm wrong, I apologize, but I think that's how it works. Okay, I've got a little bit more into my action deck. Now I do get to take two of these 250 cards. I'm a little worried about this. I've never drawn a 250 card. I'm hoping it's not too bad. All right, here's all those 250 cards. I'm a little concerned. I'm guessing these are going to be a lot tougher than they were than the 150 cards. I just hope that there's something here. Otherwise, this is going to be bad news city here because we used a lot of those resources to hunt this. So we're going to take this one and we'll take that one. And these we'll put right here. Now I'll put them back in the box. Okay, here we go. Here's the result of our hunt. I'm a little worried about this. Oh, no one empty handed. This is what I was worried about. Please be something, anything. A mole rat. Whoopee do. Are you kidding me? A mole rat? You killed a pathetic looking critter and get one? I spent all those resources for one? Bleh. All right. Well, I need to do one attack to get two stars. Draw one to get two, or I can do more. I have to do it now. Sadly, it doesn't, no. Ugh. Yep, that's the deal. So this is going to go back in the box. And this, I have to kill the pathetic looking critter. One attack, two, to, you know, do I have anything? Oh, I can fight it with my shovel. Lucky sevens? That's not really going to help me here. Darn it. All right, so we can draw two cards, I guess, to hopefully get the two stars. Kind of a waste of action to get one food. Wow, I got the club back? <laughs> okay, I'll be pretty happy about that. I got my two successes. The mole rat's dead. One, two, two successes. He's dead. I get a zero one card. He goes in the past and I get my club back. That's really good. I'm going to be making that in a second here. And the pan pipes go in the discard. I'm just going to cook the meat. I'm not even going to pull it out of the thing. I get six action cards back into my action deck. So I'm going to do that. Take six back into my action deck. Okay. We've got cards back in our action deck. We're okay there. Now comes the next step in my plan, going back down here. Before we do that, I am gonna craft my club. Oh, and my walking stick, I could craft both of these. Okay, here's the deal. There's wood down here on this tile. I don't know if you can see it because of the way the camera is. I'm gonna reposition that. Oh, you can't really see it at all. Okay, there you go. Moving camera, fantastic. Yeah, you really can't, you still can't see it. Okay, sorry. There's some wood down here next to this voracious goddess. It would cost me two to come all the way back over here. And then I could craft these two things for a total of two cards, which would be four. Or I can just stay where I am and it costs me four cards to make both of these. Either way, it's going to be four cards. And I think that's the way to go. This walking stick is sweet. In the long run, this will pay off because the walking stick in itself takes four less to move around with, which is really good. So we're gonna create this. We're gonna create this. It's gonna cost us four cards to do all that. Now this one's gonna join up with the rest of my aggressive extravaganza here. And I'm gonna add three to it. So we're up to five. We had two on it before, so now we're at five. And my walking stick's gonna get four and it's a will card, so we don't have any of those. So it's gonna go over here by itself. Now that we've got all those, oh, I forgot to actually take the cards to craft it, all right. So the first one is going to be our walking stick. We have to take two cards. I can keep one of these, a fire making kit. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. But I think I have something that helps make fire. So I'm gonna take this think card. Now to create the club, I need to take two cards as well. Nomadism and the torch. This nomadism, what can that do for us? Nothing. But we can take a torch. Ooh, vigilance. 
I don't have any vigilance, do I? Darn it. Okay, we're going to take this torch, though. I've got a plan, and this is going to get discarded. Where I'm standing, I can make the torch for two. So we might come back and make that torch if we need it. So meanwhile, we are going to come back down here for two, and we got to figure out what to do about this now. So we're going to come back down here. I am going to use my walking stick, bringing it to three to move for free. Now, now I have to figure out what I'm going to do about this. I might just banish this. Oh, I could kill the nestlings, though, and get more food. Ooh, that might be good. But I don't have any place to put it, because right now my... Inventory is full. I could ditch my shovel, which is a stamina card, which I'm not really using. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ditch this shovel so we can hold more food. It's all about food. And we're going to use this climb action. I'm going to take two cards and climb up here and kill the nestlings. And I'm going to eat them. I'm going to take two. One. Oh, I got my aggressive card back. Two. Oh, I got that one back, too. Well, that's kind of good if I was going to be done, but I'm not going to be done anytime soon, so that's going in there. But I will take this oh, aggressive card. I'm going to get rid of the think card. I'm going to discard the think card. Because after I go up here and kill these nestlings and open this up, I might actually return here and try hunting yet again. All right, we're going to take... We're going to kill the nestlings, zero, zero, one, and discard this. goes in the past. I got my meat card, my 001, and I'm going to put a 1 on it. Now we get to put tile or card 205 on. We've been here before, but I'm going to read it because it's been a while. The faces of the cliffs are riddled with openings that are big enough for an individual to stand. Now this is where we found the dog up here, if you remember it. Now something I didn't notice for a while until later on is there's a number right down here. 187. Let's go get that. So 187 says, you spot a crevasse running along a rock wall, and it looks wide enough for you to squeeze through it. So the only thing that changed was it costs nothing changed. Nothing at all except that you can go this way now. Okay. That's that. So put this into the past. Well, that didn't help at all. So that was a waste to go look over there. Well, I did get some food. And I think we're going to walk back and cook it. I know we're wasting a lot of actions just moving here. But I was really hoping this would go east a little bit more. But I don't see any other... Any other go east. So it did say go east a little bit. So I think we are actually going to go try up here. We're going to go all the way up there and see what's up there. But first, we're going to come back here, eat our food. It's going to cost us two. We know down here, if we go this way, it's that well. We've been there before, and we found a stone in there. Yay. Not a jewel. So it cost me two. So I'm going to go back to my walking stick and go to two. I know all of you are sitting there thinking, gosh, he's just wasting cards. This is ridiculous. Cost me nothing to go there. I'm going to cook this food and get my six cards back in the deck. I'm going to shuffle these in. And shuffle them right in there. From here, we can either hunt again. It doesn't say we can't stop hunting. We could hunt again and maybe get some more stuff. I mean, I believe it or not, I'm like primed and tuned to kill this horned bear. The one time I wanted to appear and it hasn't come after me. Apparently it didn't follow me across the bridge. It followed me all through that other part of the continent way over there, but it didn't follow me ever into this area without the bridge. So that being said, we are going to pay two again. Oh, I didn't need to pay two. I only need to pay one. I keep forgetting that you negative one to move to that fire. It cost me one less to move to fire, and I keep forgetting to do that. But I can pay two to go anywhere in a straight line as long as it's a fully connected straight line. I just have to pay to move off this tile. So I'm going to pay two to move off it, which is going to be, again, our walking stick. We're going to go down to one. And now we're going to take this action. And this says, 
Each step against the wind is twisting past, requires significant effort. Now it takes six to do this, and I only have one success. I don't have anything that's gonna help me get less cards, but this is connected to this, which, again, I could be wrong, but I believe that since it's connected to it, this is five less. So I only have to take one in a lock value of one to get one star. If I'm wrong, <laughs> I got, I saved myself a lot of action cards, but I believe that's how it works because this is connected to this card and I want to take an action here. Can't I use this that's connected to this card? I believe you can. So negative five from six means I only have to draw one card and hope I get a success. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to draw one card. It's a locked value. I can only draw one card. And I got my success. So we made it through the canyon. And do I want the woven basket? No, I don't want anything to do with this woven basket. Goodbye woven basket. This then says, put a 341 or a 319 card. This is a 320, what? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I had a mini heart attack there. I thought I grabbed the wrong card. This is 319. So then I got to grab a three, four, one card. And this one says, a river rages and thunders by with deafening din. Several tree trunks lying across it should help you get to the other side while avoiding the fast icy current. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Takes me two to move off this. It's got some wood. I can look, go see, okay, for free, which is what we're gonna do. We have this for 285 and a 259, and I have to put another six card over here. All right, so we're way out of view here. She's over here now. So I'm gonna do a little adjusting with the map and the camera and bring all that down a little bit. Okay, I moved everything down this way on the brand new seventh continent map or play mat that I got. Ooh, pretty neat, huh? If you didn't see my unboxing of that, it's on the channel somewhere, but this is one of the things I got from the Kickstarter. It's a little neat neoprene little play mat with the seventh continent logo on it and everything. So we're here. Let's see what we can do. I think we should do this for free. Why not? 309. Might as well. We like free. There's two 309 cards. We'll take this one. What's this? Oh, I should read the back side first. It says, you walk along the river looking for a go good fishing spot. Okay. Hey, we like fishing. Depending on the number of successes you obtain, take the corresponding number of 200 cards since it's all blurry. There we go. Draw two, two successes, two cards, three is three cards, four is four cards. And then again, the same thing if it's bloody and things we have, okay. I don't think I have anything that helps me with fishing though. The dog doesn't help with fishing. Let's see what he got. But I'm gonna put this up here. See if we can go fishing. We presently do not have anything that helps with fishing, but I don't see why we don't give it a shot. We might as well. I mean, two cards, why not? Give it a shot. I've got some of those forearmed as forewarned. If we can get two successes, I can at least bring it to three. We got one and a half. Oh, and we got a curse, yuck. Oh, boo. Well, I do have one of my forewarned as forearmed cards. I can use one of these to give at least two successes and see what happens, why not? We'll do that. I can draw two 200 cards and we'll get something good. We need some, it's food, or at least potentially food. And here's a bunch of 200 cards again. We can get two of them because I got two successes. So we'll take one, two. We'll put these back in the box. Also, I did get a woven cord, I can keep it. I drew a woven cord and a curse, so I can keep it. One, two, I've only got four, so I can keep this, it gives me five. Why not? Stuff. Meanwhile, 200 cards I get. Oh no, there's empty handed in these too. Oh, why is it always empty handed? An aquatic snake, oh barf. So my last two hunts have been absolutely fantastic. You know, 
The snake strikes you, take two poison cards, I think is what that is. I think I already got a 108 card. What do you know? I do. So I can fight it. I need three successes. I kill it and I get an experience point. Well, I guess that's what we're going to do. We're going to use our club, which has two successes already. Bringing it down to four. I was at five. It's going to go to four. This goes back in the box. Wait, I get to choose which one, don't I? Oh, but I have to discard one that doesn't say Predator because I'm bloodied. So I do have to discard this one automatically. So I have to take this automatically. All right, so I got two successes with my club. I'm going to grab one card. Oh, and I didn't get a success. Oh, barf. But we got another forearm, just forewarned card. So we're going to use that. I'm going to keep this. And then we got our two, three successes. Oh, that makes me sad. We get an 03 card. I get an experience point card, and this goes in the past. So I'm going to put our experience card in our satchel. Then I need to take the gold card. And this one says, you hide behind rock and watch the rough waters for any signs of fish. It's another fishing one. And this one, of course, has higher numbers, so it must be harder stuff to find. And this doesn't have anything about being able to return this to uh, bring the other one out. So that's going to go here. This is the original one. I'm going to banish it this time. I'm going to remember to do that. And now I can pay one to go to this 258 card. Oh, darn it, I'm running low here again. It seems to be the deal. Um, yep. So I'm going to pay one to look at 285, a blowpipe. I don't see bamboo anywhere. We're just going to say bye-bye to this thing. Now I get to put a 285. And it states, you prudently climb to the trunk to reach the other side. Oh, you prudently climb onto the trunk to reach the other side. On the way, you notice that a torrent forks into an underground cave a few hundred yards downstream. Huh. Where does this underground river lead? Will you dive to find out or just freshen up a bit and continue on your way? Hmm. However good it feels to be clean... You shudder from the freezing water. Each involved character returns their bloody state, but then takes a 102 card. Well, I, I think I'll stay bloody. I don't think I need more states. I know I'm getting rid of one to gain another one, but I I don't know. It's going to cost me action cards to do it too. Okay, so we can go into this cave. And it does say everybody has to do it, and we have to go to this 315. Now, let's look into the past here and see what this says. It did say something about going down. People with rising sun, it seems like 10 days, then disappeared underground. Maybe this was the way to the rise. No, because I went up and over. Huh. Wow, this game's so tough. I don't know what to do. Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to look at this card, and hopefully it's something good. Let's see what happens overburdened so no this is not good it says your back is consistently aching and you decide it's time to lighten your burden each character on the active player's terrain card must apply the following effect if you have only one red card in hand take an 03 otherwise you must either discard one card with the keyword stamina or will from your hand or inventory for each red card you have in hand or discard only one card from your inventory and take a 101 card stamina or will from your hand or inventory for each state so i have three states maybe i should have gotten rid of my bloody card so i have three so i have to discard three cards with the keyword stamina or will or discard only one card from my inventory and take a 101 card. I might be doing that. 
I don't think I have enough will and stamina cards. I have two will cards, which I kind of want to keep because they're my two best cards. Yeah. No, no. That ain't happening. I will uh, take, I will discard one card from my inventory and take a 101 card. Oh, boy. All right. Our walking stick had only one left on it, so I'm going to discard my walking stick. This goes into the past. I'm going to take a 101 card. All right, I got a few 101 cards left. Let's hope we don't get one that has me discard. Oh, no, it's going to make me discard cards. Boo. All right, so I have to replace this one with this. But first, I have to discard four cards. I've got one, two, three states. And then Mary Kingsley herself is considered a red card. So that's four cards I have to discard. And then I have to return my tired one and replace it with the one I just got. So this goes back in the box. The discard four. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is getting from bad to worse. I've got one card left in my action deck. I might need to fish. But even then, I can't guarantee anything good is going to come out of it. I have to draw no cards, get one success. I don't have anything that's going to help me fish. I can't get back. I need to take six cards here. Well, I get to put a 259 card into play. And this one says, Covered and jagged limestone walls wind through the center of the path, lead in all four directions. Wow. Oh, my goodness. It's going to take me four to move off this. There's got to be a number on here somewhere because I need to lower that number. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that's not going to help. Yeah, I have to fish. I'm going to have to use my Valiant Heart Shall Not Fail Me in order to fish because I only have one card in my action deck. Boo. Or I could do this. This costs nothing. And I can go to 315 and see what's there. Maybe it's, maybe it's a place to hunt. Don't know. So I'm looking at this again. It shows, uh, meanwhile, another group processes the same direction for two days and shifts and go north for some time. We're heading back to the east for four additional days. Well, this technically, it might what I'm looking for might be right here. I just don't know how I'm going to get to it with four off needing four. I really think I need to fish and hope I get something good. That's about the only thing I got going for me. So we are going to use our Valiant Heart Shall Not Fail Us. And I get two successes and I have to take a 101 card again. Yuck. That gives me zero. I have to take zero cards to lock value. So I get two successes, which puts me at the two. I wish I could have gotten one more. It would have put me at three. But two is what we're going to have to go with here. So we're going to get two successes. So I've got to take two of these 300 cards. Oh, I hope something good happens. Oh, this game has just gone downhill really fast. Oh, I had a terrible hunt over here. I had terrible fishing over here. Oh, things are just going bad, bad, bad. All right, so I get two of these. We'll take that one, and we'll take this one. And we'll hope something good. These go back in here. So what do we get? A blue fish, red fish, two fish, was it one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish? Blue, two blue fish. Oh, that's really good. Okay, I can only take one. Okay. <gasps> Maybe not. Okay, let's see what it says. Oh, okay. Whoa, this could be really... Our, our luck may have changed. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it says a small blue fish swims in the water right in front of you. And it says take 202 cards. If you revealed at least one other blue fish, I did... Blue fish card, you have found a shoal of fish. Take two additional zero two cards. I get four zero two cards. Oh my gosh, could this has not been any better? Oh, it's like the seventh continent gods have shined out. The voracious goddess really wants us to like actually take her down. This is awesome. All right, so I get four zero two cards. And then the sadness happens. I do not get four zero two cards. I wish I would have had 402 cards. Um, if you have revealed 
let's see what this says. Because I'm okay, it has to do with this bloody state again. Reveal them. If at least one character is bloody, you must discard one of these cards without the keyword predator. Choose one of the remaining cards which represents your catch. Okay, I'm gonna argue that I still get four <laughs> because I want four. Uh, the reason I'm gonna do it is because I did reveal it. It doesn't mean that I'm. It's a. Let's see if I can argue this to make it work. Uh, reveal them. If at least one character is bloody, you must discard it. So I'm going to reveal it, and they are discard, and they have to discard this one. But it says if you have revealed at least one other blue fish card, you have found a shoal of fish. Take two additional. So I revealed it, but then I have to discard it. But I did reveal it, so technically I think I still get four. I'm going to go with it. <laughs> Because I, I have a feeling that's wrong. I don't know why, but technically reveal them. If at least one of the characters bloody, you must discard one of these cards without the keyword predator. Choose one. I'm going to choose this one, but technically they were both revealed. I believe that works. So if you've revealed this one other blue fish card, and I did. So we're going to discard this. So I'm going to discard this one, but then I'm going to, but this one I'm going to keep, and it says take two zero two cards. If you revealed at least one other one, and I did, then I discarded it. Doesn't say anything about having to keep it. I take two additional two cards, so I get four zero two cards, and I put them both into the past. And this goes back here. The seventh continent gods are awesome. Thank you, voracious goddess, for allowing us to keep on journeying with you. So we get four zero two cards. And the four zero two cards are all fish. And this one says that randomly take four cards. Five of you have the fire resource from the discard pile and shuffle them back into your action deck. So we're gonna get four times four, eight, 16. I can do math real fast. 16, or if I wanna make fire right now, I could take one card to make, oh, you know what else I forgot to do here before we get all excited to making food? So we're gonna take these into our hand. And I can stack up to four cards. So we're gonna stack up to four. I'm gonna put a four on that set of food. Now I do have to take a 101 card from my Valiant Heart Shall Not Fail. So there's four of them. Hopefully we get one that doesn't take us discard cards or dead meat. Okay, good. But again, I do have to replace that one with the one I just had. So this one's going to go back in the box and I could potentially draw it again. Now comes the question, do we use our rudimentary flint? Taking one card, hopefully getting one success. If I don't, I have to discard this and that's the only, and I'm, that, that's it. That's the only chance I get. All right, let's do it. What's the worst thing that can happen? I fail? Oh, that is the worst thing that could happen. If I do fail, it's not the end of the word world. It's not the end of the word either. I do have aggressive. If the action involves, it's a success. Okay, okay, so it has to be a success to use aggressiveness. So we're gonna take one card. Let's hope this is a success. Oh, it's a curse! The last card in my action deck is a curse? Oh no, yucky yuck. All right, this, I have to discard this. Okay, I have no cards over there. So, and I have no way to make fire. We are going to eat one of our raw fish for four cards and throw them back into our, discard, our uh, action deck. I'm gonna put this back in the box. Now that I have four cards in my action deck, what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend two to move over here. Let's see if there's anything I wanna craft over there before I move. No. It have been really good to have fire here. I would have only had to pay one to get this torch made. But this woven cord is what we're going for. So if I move over here, there is a rock here, and I can go ahead and create my woven cord, which then I can use to make fire. So that's what we're going to do. And when I use that, what was it, the last, the my attempt to create fire cost me an, a... Uh, point here. So we're down to three on our aggressive extravaganza here. So it costs us two to move over there. I'm going to take two cards. Knowledge is power. And my shovel. I get my shovel back. My shovel's only cost me one to make again. Um, 
Sure, why not? We'll keep the shovel. I'm filling up on items. Why not? It'll be fun. I had to put down some of those exploration cards. One, two, three. And now from here, I can create that woven cord for one. But you get a sled. I'm not even going to keep it. Wow, well, there's snow over here. Why not? I'll keep the sled. Which then I create this. It's going to go into my skills. I don't have any skill cards. It's going to cost me two to create the fire. Oh, there's only one left in my action deck. Well, we're still going to try it. We're gonna go for broke here. We're gonna pay two. Oh, whoa, I got a plan. Oh, ho, 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 learn by doing. Woohoo! Saves me. Okay, we're gonna use learn by doing. It's gonna cost us two less to, or three less to do it, which is gonna bring us to negative one, but the lowest you can go is zero. So I can put a fire token into play. So we're gonna do that. Fire token into play right there. I'm gonna move it from here to here. And now let's cook up this food. I get 15 cards now instead of only 12. And you know, those three might help. So we're gonna put these back in the box. And I'm gonna put 15 cards in my action deck. Okay, we have a pretty good replenished action deck now. I would like to go this way. I think this is where we're gonna find our, in theory, according to the kind of talked about through the clue, we went this way up and this way again. I'm hoping that this technically might be the jewel right over here because this would be two east. I'm hoping, maybe. Let's see what it says. Oh no, it's the rockworms again. Oh, here they come. Oh, the bane of my existence. They're even in here. Well, I guess it makes sense, the whole rocky area. Well, surprise, surprise, adult rockworm. Oh no, you're alarmed by the sound of crashing and colliding rocks. Somewhere, something is moving around over there. Apply the following effect. Put one adult rockworm into play on the card that will replace this. If it's not a train card, put the figure into play on the train card I'm standing on. Then take, well, a 480 card. You don't have to take it. I know I have that card because, well, you know, I've seen these guys before. So we're gonna put a 290 card, which states, the brutal cold and thick layer of snow make it, make moving forward quite difficult to the north stalactites and stalagmites protrude from an ice wall as well as from the snow covered ground in a strange pattern that almost resembles a gaping maw oh boy what Yeah, that's right. It's just, I'm, I'm confused by the fact it's got a totally different number over here. Um, hmm. I need three successes to even move off this tile. Oh, I don't know if I want to go that way. Well, I definitely don't want to go that way. There's two adult rockworms over there. Terribleness. One, two, dull rockworms of yuck is what those are. I have to take a 480 card. Well, I bet that's this. What do you know? It's in my satchel already. The adult rockworms, I hit it for six, need 10 to kill it, or I hide from it, and it moves to an adjacent train card, which would be right back here. Barf a Rooney on that. We're not going that way. And on top of that, I don't see anything showing that the jewel is around here. I really thought it would be. I don't see any numbers. And there's not even a way to search this hole in the wall. Huh. Well, I am at a loss. Because again, let's look at our card. It says, Another group processes in the same direction for two days, then shifts to go north for some time before heading back to the east for four additional days. Oh. One, two, three, four. So it might be over here. I have to get by these guys. I can't get by them. They're going to slaughter me. But if I save the game, all this around will disappear. But that means I'm going to have to do all that walking back over to the voracious goddess. That's a lot of walking. When, if in essence, if I can keep them 
I don't know how to get by them. It's going to be bad news. I wonder if there's a way to go up and around this. I, I bet this is a dead end up here. It has to be, or something similar to that. It's not going to let me cut across this. I know what this card is. This is that weird, like, jungle thing, that jungle maze that I was going to think about going across, and I decided against it in a few videos back and then took the bridge over here. Wow. Well, there we go. Adult rockworms. I am going to stop here. I'm going to contemplate on whether or not to save the game. And if we do, that means all of this that I've done in the past is going to go away and I'll have to rewalk that whole way back. The other option is I don't save the game and try to get by these rock worms, which means I would have to either, oops, that's not it. This goes in the past. That means I'm either going to have to really attack these things or else just get beat down or else I can try to sneak by them. I don't have any of my forewarned as for arms. I don't have any way of helping. Them. I can draw multiple cards and just make them move past me. And if that's, you know, that might not be that bad a plan is to have the rock runners move past me back over to here and then go this way, see if that jewel's over here. And if I have to come back, maybe I can get back down this way through back through the jungle. No, I can't. I remember this is something about that fishing place was over here, the dead end. So I think this is where we want to go. And if we can hide from these guys and move them this way, and I go over here, get the jewel and come back, and then hide again from those guys, maybe that'd be your best bet. Yeah, well, we got a lot of th I got a lot of thinking to do, but here's that four adult rockworm card and put it back in the satchel. And this is where Mary Kingsley is going to stop for now. She's built a fire. She's kind of hanging out in the limestone rocks. I think we're on our way to getting the jewel. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm hoping if I'm I'm guessing right, it's up this way. If not, we're on an epic quest to Nowhereville, and I hope that's not where we're going. Thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. I enjoy just playing this game and enjoy sharing it with you. I hope you do too. If you like it, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. And if you hit the notification button, you'll even know when the next video comes. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, am I going the right way? Am I not going the right way? What do you think? Am I, should, I have, <laughs> should I have not spent all these actions down here doing nothing? How'd you like my maneuver on the blue fish? I think it's fine. I think it was fair. I revealed the cards. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Any questions, concerns, rules I may have got wrong, rules I may have interpreted wrong, give me a heads up. Um, as of for now, I think this is where we stop. Will Mary Kingsley make it past the rockworms or is she just going to camp out for the night and come back and maybe the rockworms will have moved on? To find out, you'll have to meet me at the table.